Hey guys, what's happening? Happy 4th of July, and uh, I'm actually going to be putting an engine in one of my RC cars, but I thought I'd go over uh, Venturi and what they do. Um, there's not really a lot of videos about the Venturi, um, but it's exactly the same concept as a car. Faster moving air gives you more throttle response, and a larger opening gives you more top end power. So it's exactly like the difference between a car, a race car, and a truck. The engines are built completely separate. So what I have here in front of me is a couple of uh, RC engines. This is a uh, originally Nova that's converted. And you can tell actually by uh, most high-end nitro engines will actually have a removal venturi. This thing pops out. If I can get it out. Oh, that's hard to get out. But the same thing with this one. So this is actually, this is a high RPM engine. And this is actually a lower RPM engine. But they're both the same size. They're both .21s. But the venturi size is different. I'll just keep that one out so you can see the reference but so the concept here is fast moving air through a smaller hole like a straw going into your combustion chamber will give you better throttle response so by compressing this space down between here and here right there and there having a smaller hole or smaller orifice this hole being smaller will actually make this air move faster in return giving you better throttle response and better low end RPM operation. So same thing as like a car for like trucks, right? You want a small, you know, throttle body, smaller hole, you know, long runners, because you want it's called velocity, you want fast moving air, velocity. So for high RPM engines you want the opposite. You're you're sacrificing bottom and power because the hole's bigger. Right? Sorry, truck going by. So the air is actually moving slower, so you lose your, your throttle response and bottom end power, but you gain the top end because this thing can breathe. So when your, your, your engine is moving at high RPMs, it needs actually more air to feed it. And when you have the small restriction, it's basically choking the engine off. So low RPM power, small hole, high RPM power, big hole. I, I prefer like a, I, I, well for trucks, I mean like like truggies or buggies, I prefer like the, the smaller hole obviously, for pedal charge. It's like a truck, it's like a modern day truck, you know, it's geared differently. You know, you want you want the low end torque, low end bottom end power. But on the higher RPM engines, like uh, like my on-road cars, like my Serpents, you want the larger orifice because you want to make your power on the top end. So hopefully it helps somebody. Uh, there wasn't a lot of information about it, but, but the exact same concepts of a car. Like I've built lots of engines, you know, car engines, and I built higher RPM race engines and truck engines, and they're built totally different. Like, like a truck engine has, like I said, it has a small, small opening, small uh, throttle body, small heads, long runners, and race cars exact different, opposite. You know, short runners, large throttle body. So, all right, cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. Had to put one of these engines in. Car. This is going to go into my truck here. Here. The one with the small orifice. So, and this is actually goes into my uh, 1 8 scale serpent. Alright, cool. Thanks. Happy 4th of July.